I don't want to force anybody to do this who doesn't go, this is going to be fun. A number of celebrities were not on the floor for Jennifer Lopez's new movie. J-Lo's movie This Is Me Now, A Love Story, premiered on Prime Video February 16th and is filled with a number of celebrity cameos, including Sofia Vergara, Jane Fonda, Kiki Palmer, and Derek Huff. But her new documentary The Greatest Love Story Ever Told gives an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the making of her film. And in this clip from the documentary, it seems like there were many celebrities on J-Lo's wish list that apparently couldn't appear on the project. We sent out all the offers last night to everybody and we're waiting to hear back on a few people um, like Jane Fonda. Taylor Swift is a no. Jason Momoa is not available. Um, Jennifer Coolidge, not available. Lizzo, not available. So he's doing Succession 2 and The Lion King and Star Wars Android 2, so he's not necessarily available. He's not available, but he loves you. Do you want Vanessa Hudgens, I mean, by the way? I was thinking about that. One of the She's friends. not available. Oh, never mind. It'd be good to get Bad Bunny to do a little cameo as the bad kid. Oh, the wrong again? That would be good. Question becomes if Trevor's there, do you want James Corden too, or is okay, right? Ariana Grande's unavailable. She's in London until September. Snoop's not yeah. available, unfortunately. At one point, after learning about the list of unavailable celebrities, J Lo vents to her longtime manager, Benny Medina. I don't want to force anybody to do this who doesn't go, this is going to be fun. Nobody wants to say no to me, Benny. I, I, I get that. But when an actor doesn't like a script or doesn't think it's good enough or is worried about it, that's what they'll say. I know that. I've done it. I mean, I know Val was available, but I want you to call Derek. And we need him for like one or two days. It's a wedding, babe. He's in a wedding. It's not, it's a wedding. He's not going to give up his wedding. I mean, who's wedding? I can talk to Benny. It's a wedding he's in. He can't, it's, it's unfortunately, it's where it's landing. I want you to call him. Okay. And while J-Lo had fictional men after her heart in the movie, the film is based off her real-life love story with its many ups and downs. But like any fairy tale inspired drama, the Let's Get Loud singer's story has a happy ending with Ben Affleck, who she reunited with in 2021 after ending their engagement back in 2003. And he even had a hand in helping her cinematic vision come to life. She told E! News' Will Marfuji during a February 14th interview at the premiere of her movie that Ben is really proud of her film. I saw your man taking a very sweet video of you just posing over here a minute ago. People bounce stuff off their spouses all the time. Most people's spouses yeah. aren't double Oscar winners. No, that's true. How important Oscar was winning writer? Yes. Yeah. How important was Oscar he director. in this Oscar process? All these things. All these things. Best picture. Ah! Ah! Right. How important was he in like in not guiding the process, but helping no, you definitely. see your way through this process? He definitely helped me through the process. At the end of it, he was like, "Oh my God." You made a film. Congratulations. He goes in, it's really good. I'm really proud of you.